Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, Chorus, it's me, Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on, you guys? How is the tribe rolling these days? Woo-wee! The 5th of May, right? The 555555 portal. <laughs> Craziness. I was going to do a reading on that day. But, you know, I think I just wanted to uh, jump off the bandwagon and do a reading after that day so we can kind of see maybe what Taurus has sorted out from this big, huge astrological event. So let's do that. Let's just see what all of this means to Taurus and what Taurus needs to look out for, look forward to, and most importantly, how to navigate for their best and highest good. All right, Taurus, we're going to shuffle these cards just a little bit more. I'm going to channel your message. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you and sew together a story. So just bear with me, all right? All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do that one more time. Just one more time. But this way, I'm going to do it this way. There we go. All right, y'all saw me shuffle those cards. I don't want to hear no shit about reversals, all right? All right, let's do it. All right. Whew. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Ooh, in spirit, Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus, and what does Taurus need to know and understand? What about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages but to explain them as well please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what these cards are going to say for whichever or whomever needs to hear it please tell me where the stopping point is i will cut three times and i'll pull straight from the top what does taurus need to know what's coming up towards taurus what do they need to look out for what do they need to look forward to and most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives? Ooh, right there. For their best and highest good. All right, let's cut them three times and see what they say for you. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe got somebody coming out of the cold. Ten of Wands in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. There's that Nine of Swords, the Three of Cups in reverse. Boom, and the Fool. Fantastic. We're going to set all of those aside, and we will address them in just a minute. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, hey, maybe you guys want me to turn this little light on right here, right? Ah, looky there. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. First card out is the Prince of Cups. Some kind of emotional something. <laughs> the Prince of Swords in reverse talks about uh, not thinking straight or not true, untrue. Three of Swords, forgiveness, acceptance, understanding in reverse. The Chariot in reverse, blockage, the Empress. There you are, boom, taking charge. Large and in charge. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, greed, debt, materialism, and inability to share in some kind of prosperity. The Tower in reverse. Uh, either some kind of personal transformation or some kind of, of, of a version of disaster. To the Ten of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. This is going to be about renewal and regeneration. Or it's going to be about um, an inevitable ending. Interesting. The Eight of Pentacles, working, engaging, building, growing. The Three of Wands, right beneath that Empress, some foresight. The future, preparing. The Five of Wands, conflict. The Emperor in reverse, an uh, out-of-control 
to the Six of Swords, leaving behind some kind of mindset. The lover's in reverse because it ain't working. The star, hope, faith, purpose in your life. The Ten of Pentacles, money, foundation. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Don't be greedy, though. Self-protection, Princess of Wands. To the High Priestess, woo-wee, the Queen of Cups. All right, and now we have some repeating, right? We got the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Six of Wands, Two of Swords in reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Devil in reverse, the Alchemist, the Princess of Swords in reverse, Temperance in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Repeating again, okay? Ace of Swords was the end. Now it's a new one. So I'm just going to show you all, okay? So Nine of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Repeating again. Okay, well, we'll take the wheel. But anyway, we'll set these guys over to the side and uh, maybe address them a little bit later if we don't already know what they say in the whole rest of this. This might be a little bit of repeating, but we'll go ahead and we'll keep that anyway. We're going to clarify with the handy-dandy pre-shuffled Rider weight deck. Okay, all right. Let's do this. Let's see what all of this is about. A few things y'all need to know and understand about me and my channel. I have the propensity to be inappropriate, I swear. Um, and I will smoke my vape on camera. And if any of that offends you in any way whatsoever, this neighborhood is too rough for you and you need to go on down the road a little bit, okay? All right, let's jump in and see what all this is about. So the Prince of Cups, a message. The tower. Ooh, it's a disaster. Okay. What else? What else? This Prince of Swords in reverse. Is this a message of some kind of forgiveness or, or, or something and then uh, it goes bad? What is the Prince of Swords in reverse and why does it lead to the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Okay. Maybe somebody's not going to pay you what they told you they was going to pay you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look. To the King of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands. It's a false offer. It's a false offer. Mm-hmm. It's a false offer that will result in the Tower. Huh. Three of Swords in reverse. These people, What? what, what is this want right here? Oh, the Three of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. The Chariot in reverse. Why is this a blockage? King of Swords to the Empress. Good bridge right there, right? But why is it a blockage? What does Taurus need to see about this whole situation with the King of Swords? What does Taurus need to see with this whole situation with the King of Swords right there? What does Taurus need to see? with this King of Swords. What does Taurus need to see with this King of Swords, the High Priestess in reverse? Something is being hidden from you. Okay, Taurus. Okay, this is what's going on, all right? This is what's going on. So check this out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, check this out. Somebody's bringing you a message, okay? They're bringing you a message, an offer of some sort, okay? And it is disastrous, absolutely disastrous. Seven of Swords, it is filled with betrayal and deceit. Eight of Swords in reverse says that they're trying to get you to have a new perspective about something. There's an offer coming into you that is disastrous. It's filled with betrayal and deceit. Someone's trying to get away with something. And what they're trying to get away with is trying to get you to see things in a different perspective. Page of Cups. Um, it goes back to the page of, of, of I mean, the uh, Prince of Cups back there, right? Um, they are offering you something, and it's attractive emotionally somehow, some way to you. The Emperor in reverse says, however, the person that is making you this offer only has their best outcome in mind. Okay, 
And the Four of Cups in reverse talks about being emotionally apathetic. This person doesn't mean it. And the Four of Cups in reverse is about stubborn. So maybe the person that is bringing you this message is stubbornly bugging you about this. Okay? It's all about them. Whatever they're offering you is all about them. But they're trying to wrap it in a, a genuine heartfelt offer of some sort, but it's all self-centered. Prince of Swords in reverse, they're not telling you the truth. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, they're probably not going to pay you what they owe you somehow, some way. Not going to get paid what you're owed. Um, to the King of Wands in reverse, again, talking about a lack of success, reiterating the egocentric, self-centered nature of this offer that's coming towards you to the Knight of Wands. Um, but they, um, they're, they're coming in and they're coming in hot and they're offering you something that is completely and totally consciously deceptive to you. This Knight of Wands also represents your desire to go in that direction, King of Wands in reverse, out of your own self-serving nature, okay? All right, Three of Swords in reverse. This message that's coming towards you is a forgive them and forget them kind of message. They want some kind of peace with you, which tells me that perhaps you've had an entanglement with whatever this is coming towards you in the past, okay? Queen of Cups in reverse, but it's in a energy and energy of um, emotional manipulation, appealing to your emotions somehow. Chariot in reverse, Major Arcana says, stop, don't go, blockage, stop, don't go. The Empress is, of course, the card of Taurus. It's Libra too, but we're talking Taurus here, right? So there's you. The Empress is um, the first highest human archetype of the tarot and the third highest entity of the tarot. She is the third highest because she comes from lesson one and two. Lesson one is the power of your mind. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, the things that circulate in your subconscious mind become your reality. The Empress understands this and she's very, very careful what it is that she lets her become, very, very careful with what it is that she lets become her reality. Lesson two is the high priestess. The empress understands the value of her intuition. She knows that it is her internal compass constantly pointing her towards her true north. And to be the empress, what she does is she manifests in her mind what her intuition is telling her to do. And it always leads her down the path of creation, success in her life. This is you, Taurus. This is where you need to stay right here. Don't forget whose child you are, okay? You are a child of the universe. And you, everyone, you encompass the ability and the power to manifest the reality that you want for yourself. And following your intuition will bring you to the path of your best and highest good. Stand up. See this for what it is. King of Swords. See this for what it is. Make logical, responsible, intuitive decisions about what it is you are allowing to be manifested in your life here. Okay? To the High Priestess in reverse because somebody's hiding something from you and the Empress is here to warn you that you might have the propensity to ignore your intuition because there is something that you kind of like about the offer that's being given to you. Six of Pentacles in reverse again. Not giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life. Okay? To Hangman in reverse. Resist. Can you all see those? Hangman in reverse. Resist. Here, I'll do it like this. Resist. Um, resist what? The offer to come out of some kind of financial pinch to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Don't let your basic human understanding and your flesh desires allow you to make the wrong decision in this situation. Okay? What's it saying? The Hangman in re Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? Um, again, not paying you, not, not giving you 
they're offering you something that is supposed to be in the realm of the giving and the receiving and the sharing of prosperity and life. Whether you're working a, a job for someone and they're not going to pay you or someone promises that they're going to do some work for you and you pay them and they don't do it. Um, someone is offering you a chance to reconnect, to have some kind of stability, to forgive and forget and bury the hatchet and create something together. But somehow they are in the control position here. Okay? All right. So, so, so the hangman in reverse. Resistance delays stalling. Don't answer this offer if you already got it. If you're going to get it, just chill for a minute and don't engage. Just say, I got to call you back. Okay? Resist this opportunity to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Even though it might bring you out of some kind of financial pinch or they're promising you like an investment or something that is supposed to bring you a lot of money or some kind of instant payback or whatever, but it's going to bring you, it's supposed to be bringing you out of a poverty consciousness and the Queen of Wands in reverse says your needs will not be met here. Your needs will, not only will your needs not be met, but you're going to be like hyper pissed off about all of this. Okay? To the, uh, I'm sorry you guys, really am. To the magician. Okay? Major Arcana telling you to manifest. Manifest what? You still can't see. Huh? The magician telling you to manifest. Manifest what? The Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change. Manifest what it is that you're already working on and do not engage in this. Movement, action, change. Manifest change away from this detrimental situation. Okay? Keep going. Manifest the future that you want for yourself because this isn't it. Tower in reverse, right? Avert disaster. Avert disaster, avert disaster, avert disaster. Nine of swords, anxiety and despair. That's the disaster. The disaster is going to create anxiety and despair in your life. To the hierophant in reverse. Do not commit. Do not engage. Do not, do not, do not. To the king of pentacles in reverse. It is going to blow up in your face and it's not in your best interest. Center of the reading, the ten of swords. The offer of some kind of renewal or re-engagement or resuscitation of something, Ten of Swords in reverse, will end in, will ultimately come to an end. Okay? It will, it will not work out. Eight of Pentacles. You, Taurus, keep working on what it is that you're doing. Keep working towards your goals. Keep working towards work hard, uh, work harder, um, compound the lessons from your past and build a better future. Because like I said, this has a hint of coming out of the past, right? And we're never supposed to go back to the past. We're not. We're not supposed to go back to the past. We're supposed to keep going forward. So you keep meeting your own expectations in your life, Taurus, to the Queen of Pentacles and know that all is well. Know that all is well, whatever it is that they're, that they're saying to keep focusing on, to not get distracted from when this offer comes in, um, keep doing it and, and be happy about it. And all, all is well with what you're already doing. To the Ace of Cups, um, this is a love for what you do, maybe. It is emotional growth, perhaps, because you see the fallacy of this whole situation over here. Um, maybe as this Empress energy, you're actually seeing through the whole thing, and you're calling a spade a spade, right? Keep working. Keep doing it. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, perhaps someone that you work for. Maybe you have two jobs. And maybe this other job is saying, hey, we want you to come over here full time and you're fixing to ditch something that is very satisfying and that you love in a temptation for more money or more prosperity somehow. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Maybe you have someone that is making you an offer of marriage and what they're saying is um, to 
marry them, you have to leave a profession that you love or some aspect of your life. Maybe they want you to move away from your family. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, don't give up what it is that you feel stable and secure in. Don't give up on what it is that you've been working on. The Ace of Cups. Um, uh, you like This represents to me your emotions that you love this, okay? And then Temperance comes on top of it and says it's a peaceful place. You like it. It's a peaceful place to be. You like it. You are, um, you're, you're good where you are. So don't try to accept this offer for more, okay? Three of Wands. Have some foresight for the future. Get ready, Taurus. Knight of Swords. Someone's coming at you with a message, okay? Reiteration. Five of Wands. It's going to create a lot of conflict in your life, Emperor in reverse, because this person deep down inside is an asshole. They just are. They're trying to use you somehow, some way, to get what it is that they need or want from the situation. Two of Cups in reverse. Uh, this is not a viable relationship. And again, it makes me feel like perhaps you know this person in some other way. Former employer, maybe you know this person, maybe they're a brother-in-law or something, right? It doesn't even have to be any kind of romantic anything. But somehow you've um, had some kind of a little bit of falling out with this person. And now they're coming back with some good offer, um, wanting to forgive and forget and move forward. Princess, uh Parent princess or the page of swords in reverse says it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The six of swords, leave it behind. The six of cups, memories, nostalgia, the past, seven of pentacles in reverse hasn't changed. This person is still the same person they were when back in the day. Okay. Still the same person they were back in the day. Or if it is like a home situation, um, this person is not interested in changing. And if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten, the world, and repeat the lesson over and over and over again and be stagnated and not move forward to the Ace of Pentacles because you can't grow your seeds here to the lovers in reverse. It's an unviable, un, un, undivinely orchestrated relationship in your life to the star. Your path and your purpose is what it is that you need to be focus, focusing on. Your path and your purpose. The Eight of Pentacles. Keep working. Keep working hard. Keep learning from the past. The Queen of Pentacles. Keep going in that direction. The Ace of Cups. Um, it's something that is peaceful, temperance, loving, comfortable. Um, maybe you're catching feels for. Maybe you're getting situated for the first time in your new role and it just feels really good and you got a good handle on things. And then boom, something comes and it's totally self-centered, but they're making you kind of a good offer. So you're thinking about taking it. Okay. The star, your path and your purpose. That is the most important thing is peace, contentment, and internal homeostasis with this temperance card back here, right? That is the most important thing. If your sense of well-being is stressed out somehow, some way, you need to make moves in your life to find yourself or keep yourself in a nice, peaceful state of being because all of this other stuff, the grubbing after stuff just isn't purposeful. The path and the purpose of your life, the hermit will be found within the path and the purpose of your life. Be quiet. Do some, some internal soul searching and introspection. Sit down, talk with your higher power. Put it all out there and sort it out. And when you, when you focus your attention on your path and your purpose, the Ten of Pentacles, what it is that you desire from this bad offer over here will be given to you tenfold. It always is. Anything you think you want to grub after in the flesh, if you'll stop yourself, realize what you're doing, point yourself towards your intuition and your power of manifestation, it's always given unto you tenfold. Ten of Pentacles. Talk about your future. 
sit down with your higher power and talk about love relationships, important relationships, self-love, self-respect, justice. This is in your best interest. This is truth. This is fairness and justice in your life. What is that? Consulting with your higher power about your path and your purpose. Consulting your intuition so you can sit like the empress and make the decisions of your life with more understanding than just the simplicity of your human experience. Page of Pentacles. This is the foundation by which you can manifest. Seven of Swords, trying to take a shortcut, trying to get rich quick, trying to use somebody for money or let somebody use you for, for labor or money, using somebody for labor. It's a shortcut and it's all not in your path and not in your purpose. And it is going to be disastrous because the person bringing you this offer has nothing but greed and self-serving intentions to the two of wands. See the future. Go in the direction of the future. What's in your future? The Ten of Pentacles. What it is you think you're going to get here, if you will point it towards your path and your purpose instead of, again, your limited human understanding of things, there will be the Ten of Pentacles in your future, the Ace of Wands. There will be bigger and better opportunities than this. Four of Pentacles in reverse, protect yourself. Princess of Wands, there's a message coming at you. The High Priestess, use your spidey senses to feel your way through this. To the Queen of Cups, um, be calm, cool, collected in your emotions. Use your spidey senses with the Queen of Cups to decipher and, and discern your way through this situation. Eight of Wands in reverse, whatever you do. Don't go in that direction. Six of Wands. Your success is on the line. Not only is your success on the line, but some kind of lesson is here too because you had the world card in the upright, right? That's the end of a cycle. The closure. Oh, no, it's no, that's the Wheel of Fortune. The close, the end of a cycle, the closure of a cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. Okay, so the Six of Wands is overcoming the lesson. What's this? It's this lesson right here because this lesson right here is going to keep on and keep on and keep on until you get over it. What do you got to get over? Well, it's something that appeals to your fleshly nature that you would like to have and you have to get into cahoots with this person to get it. And this person is going to use you to get what they want out of the situation and dispose of you and maybe the paycheck or the stability or the security that comes with it when they get what they want, when they get their fill. Overcome this fleshy lesson right here, okay? To a sword in reverse, at a crossroads, you don't even see it. The sun in reverse, you don't even see it, right? See clearly the devil in reverse and release your limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? Well, maybe that you can take a shortcut and get things done in a more expedient way in the, in the immediate, but you're sacrificing the long term. The alchemist. Manifest your reality. Be careful what it is that you think about. Be careful what it is that you allow in your life. You can create a shit show in your life without even trying. Imagine what it is that you could create in your life if you try. If you stand in the power as the empress and you understand your thoughts create your reality, maybe you will stop thinking some of the thoughts that you're thinking. The alchemist, be careful what you're manifesting. Princess of Swords in reverse. Because you're manifesting a bunch of bullshit into your life. Mm hmm. All talk, no action, right? Are you the empress or aren't you the empress? To temperance in reverse. Um, being imbalanced and not knowing your worth, not knowing who you are, not having self love um, is an imbalance. Flip this card in the upright with the Ace of Swords. Flip this card in the upright, see the truth of a situation. And become tempered and even keeled and see the situation for what it truly is because the source of it has not changed. Has not changed. Has not changed. Huh. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. The fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Brand new direction. Keep going. Don't stop. Do not rest here. 
three of cups in reverse, some kind of interference, some kind of third party interference, some kind of stifled creativity. What is this three of cups in reverse? The Hierophant commitment. Oh, this person is a third party situation to you and your future, your path, your relationship with spirit. This person is interference in this situation. Uh-huh. The Hierophant says that you need to stand strong. You're on your way to something and you, you just need to hold course, hold course, hold course, hold course. Knight of Cups in reverse and ignore this opportunity. Yeah. Look, the magician again, manifest, 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 Taurus. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This might meet your needs in the short term. Ten of Wands in reverse, but it's going to be a burden and a struggle in the long term. King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility, emotional manipulation, to emotional codependency to the Nine of Swords. Nothing but anxiety and despair to be had here. So see this situation for what it is. Put on your spidey senses. Step into your power as the empress. Know that you know that you know that your reality is what you think it is and your intuition will never steer you wrong. Follow your intuition and manifest accordingly and you will be, you are on the path to success. Do not let this sidetrack you in any way whatsoever. Okay? I hope this helped someone. All right. Namaste.